two days after independence, the Prime Minister of Malaysia told the British High Commissioner, if Singapore doesn't do what I want, I'll switch off the water supply. So I knew that unless I could become less dependent, at that time I, could, I did not believe I could be totally independent, but less dependent on Malaysian supplies, I would always be a satellite. So the quest began for water independence. First on the agenda, to increase the local water catchment area for rainwater collection. Civil engineer Li Ek Tiang was put in charge of the project. He dammed up Singapore's estuaries and established a comprehensive network of drains, canals and rivers to ensure only clean rainwater runoffs fed the new reservoirs. A new sewerage system had to be constructed across the island to ensure soiled water did not pollute the water catchment areas. But perhaps the most audacious plan Lee Kuan Yew had was to clean up the Singapore River and Kallang Basin. Since the founding of Singapore in 1819, the Singapore River had been the lifeline of trading and business activities. Over the years, the heavily used waterways degenerated into an open sewer and rubbish dump as all forms of waste were indiscriminately discharged into them. Cleaning up the black, foul-smelling river was a massive undertaking. Many businesses had to be relocated during the cleanup. The project was completed in 1987. Lee Kuan Yew's success in cleaning up Singapore's waterways and rivers meant that the island had its own domestic water supply. Singapore's National Water Agency, PUB, continued to find more ways to increase water supply. It leveraged rapid technological advances to develop new and sustainable sources of supply like new water and desalinated water to help diversify Singapore's water resources. Today, five new water plants can meet up to 40% of Singapore's total water demand. This is set to increase to 55% by 2060. Singapore also built desalination plants to process seawater through reverse osmosis. By 2060, desalinated water is projected to fulfill up to 30% of Singapore's future water needs. Singapore's water needs are now served by the four national taps. Local catchment water, imported water, new water and desalinated water. In 2008, the marina barrage was completed. Singapore now has 17 reservoirs from the initial three in the 1960s. The local catchment area covers two-thirds of the island. Lee Kuan Yew had the foresight to sign two water agreements with the state of Johor in the 1960s. The two water agreements were guaranteed by the government of Malaysia in the separation agreement of 1965 and the separation agreement was registered at the United Nations. The first agreement signed expired in 2011. The second water agreement allows Singapore the full and exclusive right to draw up to 250 million gallons per day from the Johor River until 2061. However, our water supply remains vulnerable to factors such as climate change. Singapore's quest for water security remains a work in progress. Our water story is an important reminder to make every drop count.